lull in our match against uh, Berkeley today. Um, the guys' energy was there all the way through the match. I thought we played an excellent match from start to finish, and um, the focus, and um, they played with a, a great purpose. So I was really pleased. The double seemed like a really big point to have won there and kind of came down to the wire there. Were you sweating a little bit? No. Um, you know, I was, uh, I was pleased to win the doubles point, but I'm confident in this team either way. You know, it's just something that uh, we've spent a lot of time on lately and the guys continue to get better, but certainly I didn't feel that uh, it was any bigger than the other six points that we still had to play. So, um, you know, Stanford did a good job um, competing in the doubles and, and certainly it gave us some momentum, but I was confident in the team. And Alex coming back after losing to that kid last year in the uh, quarters out in Palo Alto looked like he really played well today, yeah. even though he didn't finish, just just barely beat him yeah, there. Yeah, he did. did. And, um, Alex had match points, so he didn't get a chance uh, for uh, Justin Clinch. But, uh, you know, Alex did play an extremely complete match. He got down a little bit early, but bounced back. And, and uh, you know, I thought he did a really good job returning, especially at the first half of the first set. So. You know, good for him. But all in all, you know, give Stanford some credit. They played a good match, and they had a great win. Yes, a great win against Kentucky. And so, uh, you know, we certainly have so much respect for them. And I was just pleased to be able to finish the match the way we did. Um, was George and Pepperdine still out there battling in the turnaround tomorrow? Um, do you feel that that's an advantage for you guys? Yeah, I think it, it is an advantage to to get off the court and get our guys recovering right away. It's, it's from the looks of it, they still have a lot of work to do out there between Pepperdine and Georgia. What a great match! And and uh, but we're, we respect either team, and we look forward to whoever we play. Justin, you kind of had a uh, rough uh, final match out in Palo Alto last season. Was that on your mind at all heading into this match and in, into this NCAA tournament to try to kind of learn and build off that experience? Um, it actually hasn't been on my mind at all because I mean, this whole year I've just been doing all I can do, keep uh, been preparing the best I can. I mean. I don't feel at all that this year, this tournament, I don't feel at all as nervous as I was last year. So, I mean, it has been on my mind at all. What was working for you today? Um, just my fitness and everything has, um, everything was really working today. So, my fitness has helped a lot. Uh, Drew, yeah, what, what about, what was working for you out there today? You looked pretty comfortable. Yeah, I served really well. Um, and any time I serve well, I can kind of take some chances in return games. And, uh, you know, some shots fell early, and I got a couple early breaks and uh, was able to serve out the first set. And uh, second set, had a little lull, but um, fought my way back into it and, uh, you know, was able to, to serve well in, during the last game as well. And what about you and Jameer with that doubles coming, going into that tiebreaker there? I mean, it was a pretty, pretty nip and tuck match there. Yeah, it was a good match. Um, Ryan and Dennis played very well. Um, give them credit. I think they're two very good doubles players. Um, but yeah, Jameer and I were having fun. Uh, you know, it's like we just we just kind of took it point by point and uh, had a blast out there. It was a fun match, tie break. Uh, point came down to us, and we were able to pull through. It's a big momentum swing in the singles, and uh, I think our team used that very well today. And I brought up Palo Alto last year. I mean, this has to be great for you because you had the foot injury and you couldn't play. And how, how does it feel now to you know be out there and really contribute into the team's success? Yeah, it feels great. Uh, last year was probably the toughest year to on the sideline, um, knowing that. <clears throat> Knowing that uh, how much our team thrives in this in this moment, how much I thrive in this moment, uh, it was definitely tough last year. But it's good to be out, good to be out there this year. Drew and Justin, your coach mentioned your the energy you guys had. Uh, was there anything in particular, you know, just beyond the circumstances of playing in the quarters that the, that you think enabled you to have that sort of you know that energy or, or burst? I think, um, as Coach alluded to earlier, I think uh, the kind of uh, momentum shift uh, against Cal, uh, you know, kind of playing. Very good doubles point, and then kind of playing half a single match for a lot of guys, including myself. I think uh, everyone played a full, complete match today from one through six in singles. And uh, some guys didn't finish, but I think, uh, you know, we stepped out there knowing that, uh, you know, we were better in every spot, but every spot had to, had to play complete matches, and it wasn't going to be easy. Um, turned out we played a great match, and, uh, you know, anything, Justin? Yeah.